Lead Belly was born Cutie Ledbetter, um, just the son of a, of a hard-working farmer and his wife uh, in Mooringsport, Louisiana back in 1888. So like you said, he's been gone a long time, he died in 1949. But really, when you think about his legacy, he is one of the first um, sing traveling, touring singer-songwriters. He was uh, a repository of over 500 songs. He did four stints in prison. Uh, he was influential to music legends like Woody Guthrie and especially Pete Seeger. And to this day, even though, like you said, he's been gone for 73 odd years, um, his songs keep popping up in commercials and and in folk music repertoire, most people know his song um, "Good Night Irene" and "Rock Island Nine and and uh, uh, "Midnight Special." He escaped um, once with bullets literally whizzing by his ears. Um, he carried a scar um, on the side of his neck because he was playing in some club and and somebody sneaked up behind him and tried to cut his throat and uh, he managed to beat him off. Um, he sang his way out of prison twice uh, when the governor came through and uh, was granting pardons, which he had never granted a pardon to anybody before Lead Belly. And Lead Belly composed a song that basically said, Governor, if, if I had you like you got me, I'd get up in the morning and set you free. And the last day in office, Governor Pat Neff pardoned him. Lead Belly sort of sneaks up on you. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, you know, it's interesting that uh, one of his songs is a song that was covered by Kurt Cobain. So whenever you get to that point in the show where you start, you know, talking about uh, In the Pines, everybody starts going, oh, he's doing a Kurt Cobain song, right? So, uh, you know, he, he becomes an, an American institution in the, in the best sense of the word because generation after generation, uh, people discover. You can see Reverend Robert Jones in his musical portrayal of Lead Belly Saturday night at the Eugene and Marilyn Glick Indiana History Center. That's downtown at the corner of West and Ohio Streets. The show starts at 7 p.m. and we have all the information you need about it inside the story. Just visit WRTV.com.